exceptional performance at TKO 36. Lindsay Garbett makes a highly anticipated return to Montreal tonight in hopes of doing it all over again. This very popular athlete from Oshawa, Ontario, looks to continue her ascension in the world of mixed martial arts. With an impressive record of four victories and five bouts as a pro, Lethal Lindsay brings not only fists of fury, but also an always improving ground game, thanks to her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu abilities. It's time for the sparks to fly. Iku versus Garbet starts now. Thanks for coming. You can check it off the bucket list. You're coming to fight a non-human. For Lindsay Garbett when she makes her way down the ramp. A ton of support coming from Ontario. Uh, we were told that she has sold the most tickets here tonight. Yeah, <laughs> anybody. And it's a six hour drive. She is very popular, very lovable athlete here. Lindsay Garbett, th this woman is such a cool dude, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? She watches a wall all day with a machine gun and a nuclear power plant. She likes to fight people and shoot guns. That's why, one of the reasons why I love Lindsay Garbage. She does not need to be doing this. She gets involved in these violent encounters inside of a cage because she wants to. And you see the man behind her, her longtime coach and mentor, Justin Bruckman, right. and the talented Bill Boland. Bruckman is one of the greats, and Bill as well. These are two of the real true pioneers, true greats that shaped Mixed martial arts and the martial arts game, the combat game in Canada. Lindsay couldn't have a better coach, really, and the relationship between the two is brilliant. We worked a little bit with Justin and he was showing us some of her head movement drills that they do. And you'll see it. She slips her head off the line so incredibly well, counters so quickly, but she loves being in here. That's the noteworthy yeah. thing. You see the true joy in being in a fist fight in a cage. And uh, yeah, you're gonna love this. Justin told us that Lindsay really is the type of person that makes everybody else better. The people want to be around her because of her infectious nature and her pure positive attitude always has a smile on her face. But when it's time to go to war, it's time to go to war. You don't see too many people smiling and hugging and, and when they're cutting weight, but always with her. She wants to be here and she gets her wish and she's got a tough, tough fighter that has come all the way from Belgium to give it to her. We are getting ready for the introduction to this 115-pound battle. Mesdames et messieurs, Ring Kings présente ce duel de 3 rounds de 5 minutes dans la division féminine des poids pailles. Ladies and gentlemen, Ring Kings presents this bout scheduled for 3 5-minute rounds in the women's strawweight division. Les juges pour ce combat judges for this bout, Monsieur Richard Blouin, Monsieur Richard de Carufel et Monsieur Pasquale Procopio. L'arbitre de referee, Monsieur Philippe Chartier. Tout d'abord, dans le coin argent, portant la culotte rose, elle compte deux victoires, dont une par KO et une par soumission en trois combats. Introducing first fighting out of the silver corner, wearing pink trunks, she has two professional victories, with one coming by way of knockout and one by submission in three bouts. De Bruxelles, Belgique, pesant 117,2 livres, from Brussels, Belgium, weighing 117.2 pounds, the Pineapple, Great Echo! Et son adversaire dans le coin or, portant la culotte noire, elle compte 4 victoires, dont 3 par KO en 5 combats. Her opponent fighting out of the gold corner, wearing black trunks, she has four professional victories, including three coming by way of knockout in five bouts. The Oshawa, Ontario, presents 115.8 livres, from Oshawa, Ontario, weighing 115.8 pounds, Lethal Lindsay Garbett! Lindsay looks so focused right now. She always is focused. Oh. Her opponent failed to make weight. Unfortunately for her, there were some issues with the flights. Her flight was delayed. But the garbage team came to fight. And they came in late and it won extra challenge. But you see, she came to fight as well. Moving very nicely. Thanks for tuning in to TKO 37. John Ramdeen, Robin Black, Jason St. Louis having a great time. 
and Sharche, the third person inside of the cage and in charge of all the action. In her last fight, Lindsay just came up hyper aggressive. You can see she's starting a little more calculated here. That joy of being in combat kind of took over her. She didn't play the way she wanted to. You see the light on the yep. feet. This is what Lindsay Garbat looks like. This is how she fights. Light on the feet, moving the head, smart choices. That guillotine is in there. She's got to be very careful to sweep these legs by. Smoothness and angles leads to the takedown. Yeah, just have to be very careful not to end up in guard. And that control of the neck is still there. You can reset this and get this choke from here. Lindsay wants to pass to her own left. But that right leg there, laced on her foot, is preventing. Nikat will use this to get back to her feet and maintain that guillotine. to look for guard again. And Lindsay now needs to sweep those legs to the side not end up in the guard. He kind of looks very good. Very good. Calm and composed. And she's taken down once again. Yeah, last time it was just a hundred miles an hour from the get with Lindsay. And this time a lot smarter and more calculated. She's already learned a little bit about Etcat here. That the guard is dangerous, that the submission threats can be real here. Garbutt just making it physical right now. Scoop, staying low. That's how people are playing that modern game down there. Now, overhook here. Hand controls ahead. Four punches at knees from there. And separates. Smith the head movement is there right from the beginning. Garbutt appears to be the better athlete of the two. A little larger, too. Big on meat. Let's go Garbutt, let's go overhand right for Lindsay. And we did see Garbutt get tagged there. See the way she's slipping off now, that's, that's the game. Make him miss. That's the hard part, the fun part. Okay. Garbutt slips there, her back taken by Iku. She could be in big trouble she here. She is in big trouble because she went immediately to the neck and she is under that neck. Lindsay Garbutt in trouble here, right Iku. Two hands on one, that's the approach. You fight the one arm. Oh man, if Iku came here, she's gonna have to put Lindsay out, now and she might be able to. Now the body lock as well is gonna put more pressure on the body. Two hands on that one hand up there, that's the key. She's pulling that down, there's a deep choke, she's out. And she is unconscious, I believe. The referee, get in there and stop it! Yeah, beautiful performance, that's what you do. You get on a plane, a delayed flight, you have all these additional challenges on the tarmac back in Belgium. You don't care about any of that stuff. You, you tune out the audience, you come in here, and you get it done. Beautiful. Right? Eco, nobody except her team was giving her a chance of winning tonight. I'd like to see the replay. It looks like there was a momentary slip of the foot of the floor. Put Garbutt out of position, and Eco just took advantage of that. That's all it takes. This is a game of inches. If there's a banana peel out there for one moment, it can change the what? entire you silence the crowd. And it yes, is it's incumbent a... on Eco. It's the giant's her job to turn one of those moments into her advantage, and she did. It's pulled Lindsay out. And uh, Lindsay will be disappointed. Lindsay will be disappointed. Justin will be disappointed. But these guys, Eco, they've got to be pleased, man. They undefeated with three wins, no losses, and a draw against a highly touted, legit 115-pounder in Lindsay Garbutt. I'm sure, I'm sure Eco hoping the beer here in Montreal is as good as it is in Belgium so she can celebrate. It is not. It's tasty. Let's make it official. Mesdames, Messieurs, le combat est arrêté à 3 minutes 7 secondes du premier round. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight is stopped at 3 minutes 7 seconds of round number one. La gagnante par TKO, your winner by TKO, Great Eka! Yeah, it was. Yes, it was a uh, technical, technical submission. Patrick Lono with our winner.
We are with the winner, Grit Egad. Grit, you came into Montreal yesterday a little late. Your flight got delayed. Things got really complicated. Did that take maybe a bit away from the performance tonight, even though you came out with a win? How difficult was it to manage all that? Yeah, well, the weighing was very hard. I just got two hours, so it's very difficult. And yeah, the jet lag, I'm still a bit all over the place, so it was a bit hard to just get in. Well, it didn't show. You had an incredible performance tonight. You were able to hit her hard with the punch, and then you just pounced on her like a lion jumping on their prey. Was that the plan all along? Did you want to get her to the ground and be able to finish it there? What was the game plan coming in? I wanted to get her to the ground, yes, and also saw her last performances, and I saw it was hard to tap her out. So I really practiced that and you keep, keep them going without changing all the time, so I'm really happy it worked out. <laughs> Well, you definitely delivered an extraordinary performance despite all the difficulties. Congratulations, Mesdames, Messieurs, votre gagnant, your winner, Great Ekao. Great Ekao, with an impressive victory.